Hello fam, let's get into another story. Another story that BT.com brought out. It was brought out by a staff writer, but they titled it Candy Burris and Todd Tucker Confront Their Marriage Issues. Well, I saw the video or I saw the um what do you call it? The Real Housewives of Atlanta show of the last episode for season twelve, episode twenty, honey. And Todd was just sitting there like a a sick little puppy. I, I don't know what you call it. When a man is uh, self esteem is so low and they're listening to all the naysayers and other people that they definitely don't even know. And it's getting to them. It's messing with Todd Tucker's ego. And he's been titled or named Mr. Burris. <laughs> Not Mr. Todd Tucker, but Mr. Burris, okay? Because he's in the real deep shadows of his wife, Candy Burris, and he's not handling it well. I don't know. Maybe if his mother was still living, she would push him to be more and to get out from under Candy's shadow and to be his own man and do what makes him feel happy. And I kind of, you know, feel bad for him in that way, in that aspect. But, damn, he's a man, okay? I don't know if it's, it's Todd Tucker or father still around, dad still around. Because he need to go look him up. But, see, the thing with Todd Tucker is, from my opinion, my perspective, how I'm looking at it, he loves that lifestyle. But he doesn't like that he is not the breadwinner of that lifestyle. And I'm like, hmm. Well, Todd, you shouldn't have took the bait when Candy told you uh, you need to leave this situation. Now, if it was a situation where you couldn't work for Bravo anymore and uh, Candy still wanted to work for Bravo, then both of you all needed to do some soul searching to see how it would look in each of one of you or what each of you all's financial portfolio of course it would have been more so candy would have been making a lot more money by being on the show now if you would have married her strictly for who she was and not what she was about as far as her um, money situation you probably would have been fair and just told her to stay off the show because you gonna make things work and technically she would have been at how at home raising them children and doing her little side hustle with writing music for other artists to sing but uh and then you could have still been doing what you want to do but then that would have made her unhappy and she probably wouldn't have done it anyway even if you had suggested it because <laughs> she hadn't been faring too well in the couples or relationship uh playground until you and I wonder if she wasn't in the million dollar club, would you even have given her a second look? Okay. Because definitely she has, it seems like you all have an open marriage from things I've heard, things I've seen, and just how she gets down. She likes women too. Ken is bisexual. Okay. And she, she don't really um, have no qualms about saying she done dipped in the lady pool and she like it. And Todd allows her to do it. But he ain't letting her bring another man in the situation. Oh, it just is what it is. Okay. But, you know, he seemed like he's like down low jealous of her because she's acting now. Uh, she's in some sitcom show called The Shy. If it don't come on cable, what I'm already paying for, I won't be seeing it. Somebody just have to put it on Netflix or stream it or something, and then I can catch it that way and get my critique. Other than that, I'll, I'll never see it. I'll never be able to talk on it, you know, or speak on it. But, uh, yeah, Todd just, I don't know. He, he, he just, he wants to be the man. He want everybody to know he's wearing the pants. But we already know whatever or whoever makes the more, uh, most money in a the situation, they tend to control everything, okay, and watch the dollars. But see, it's bad because Candy wanted these children, and they're two beautiful children, and I've got to count Riley and Kayla as well. But she really didn't anticipate Todd playing day to day care because she loved everybody saying, Ooh, that Todd got day to day care and all this, and then he got the OLG restaurant. But the brother said he ain't happy. <laughs> so, without further delay, let's get on into this story and see what somebody else as a staff writer for 
BET.com thought about the situation, okay? It says Todd shares why he needs more from Candy. And just my quick sidebar, he don't want more from Candy. He want her to miss as many opportunities as he can so she won't shine anymore. He's pretty much trying to dim her light out but trying to play with the uh, the feel of you need to be home with the kids. You need to be home with me. Now, I'm like, if it was flipped, if the script was flipped, would you stop for Candy? Or would you be telling her, look, I am the provider. I'm out here doing this for us. So the time that you're not getting with me is because I'm doing it for us. That's what he'll be saying. So don't get it twisted. But it just is what it is. Okay. But going back to the article. It says another Real Housewives of Atlanta star is confronting issues circling her marriage. And it's not Kenya Moore. Candy Boris and Todd Tucker had an uncomfortable conversation about where their marriage is headed and tucker said this is not fucking he said wait a minute hold up he said uh that he is not fucking happy that's what he said that's what he said i'm like honey well only you can contribute to your your success and your happiness if you're not happy then get off your ass and change it that's just my sidebar but i'm i'm giving you real quality tea here you can't have somebody else uh, to make happiness for you and you cannot depend on nobody else you got to make your own way you got to make your own happiness okay you could be happy with your family unit and just that and third but if you're feeling less than then you need to do something about that less than feeling and stop trying to pout and whine and talk about what somebody else need to be doing when they're already doing a hell of a lot already okay but anyway going back to the article it says doing a show's highlight of a recent episode of the explosive Bravo reality show. Burr's husband of six years shared his feelings on his happiness or lack thereof. I don't do the shit that I like to do, Todd said, explaining that his passion truly lies in production, television, and film work. Well, my whole thing is, okay, do y'all still have that house that Cannon moved out of to be able to get in that big old mansion of a mansion? Okay, uh, if she does, then sell that mansion mansion. Tell Candy to get off of the show. And you're going to go back and do what you love to do. And the income is just going to have to do what it do. Okay? That's being a man. That's put things in perspective. I don't know how it's going to fare with Candy because she likes living that type of life. But if it's something that you want and you think it would better be better for the family and all dynamics surrounding it then do it Todd don't talk about it be about it okay tell your wife she has to make a choice either it's this lifestyle she likes to live in now or she needs to come on down stop living like the Joneses and let's make our own life you know let me be the provider let me provide we might have to downsize but I love you but I, I just need to do me and I need to be a provider and you need to stay at home and be with these kids okay that's what he's trying to say but he don't know how to say it because he loves that lifestyle as well he don't want to give it up he likes the newfound freedom or being able to drop it like it's hot Throw those dollars at those strippers and just have a good time. But then when all that fanfare has settled, the dust has settled, and he really looks at his life, of course he ain't happy because he's living off his wife. He keeps saying he's not. He keeps saying, you know, he has his own income. She keeps telling us that, but it's not adding up. And it's not adding up to him if he's coming out telling us he ain't fucking happy. That's what he's saying. Not my words, his words. Okay, but getting back to the article. It says she wanna, went on to remind her husband that she did support her husband's vision to produce a film, but it was out of her control and he didn't move forward in the next step. Now, I don't know if the out of control meaning some type of monetary uh, emphasis that she just couldn't feel like she needed to uh, opt into the ideal or whatever. You know, I, I'm pretty sure it had something to do with uh, money, but, um, but, you know, leaning to better uh, clear head of thinking, uh, clear heads of thinking, rather, we're going to say it wasn't about money. It was just probably about timing and this, that, and third. But half the time, if you ain't going to move and shake things, it's about money, okay? But anyway, um, 
you know, evidently he was trying to produce a film or a play or something. And it didn't go well. Of course, look at the play that he tried to do of A Mother's Love. We see how that got started and how that abruptly ended. Now, didn't we? And he was a part of that production as well. So, I'm like, Todd, you know... <laughs> Maybe you're not the forefront person you need to be. You know, maybe you, you, you're just that second-handed type person uh, when the first person that needs to play ain't available. You know, it's like you're the understudy. You you know what I'm saying? You fill in when the main person not there. Kind of like a backup singer like your wife, Candy. But that's just my perspective. Okay, moving back to the article. It says, uh, I'm not really stepping out there. Because I'm so worried that I stay this guy. Okay, this guy that Candy has constructed that she feels like you need to be. Meaning her, I ain't going to say lap doll, even though I said it in the past. I'm going to say more like her bodyguard, her caregiver, her person that she needs by her. Because she don't believe in anybody else around her that would tell her the ultimate truth. But your husband's not really telling you the ultimate truth. Because if he would, he would probably say, I'm jealous of your success. Um... I want to have my own success and you're overshadowing me. You know, that would be a, a more fitting conversation than him, him saying, Ooh, I want you to blow up. I want you to be on top. I want you to win. But then again, I want to win somewhere in this uh, this environment, this situation my, myself too. I don't want to stay and watch kids. I want to do something. You know what I'm saying? You're whining. So I'm like, step up, be the man that you say you want to be. Tell him. Put all your cards on the table and that shit fly where it needs to fly. Okay, I'm just saying, you know. Kind of clear cut to me. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, he says, uh, because I'm so worried that I stay this guy, he responded, you know, for me, I don't really mind supporting you. See, that part right there when he said, I don't really mind, he should have said, I don't mind. Not really. You know, not that clause in there or that pause in there. When you're down with somebody, you saying, hey, uh, I don't mind at all. Go on and do you get get it going on. But you said, you know, for me, I don't really. So that that that's, that's like you uh, have support right there. Like you're an Indian giver. I'll give you support, but then when it don't fit me no more, I'm going to have to take that support back. That, that's not what we do in relationships. That's not what we do in a marriage, Todd. It's give and take. It's 50-50. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's 37 and sometimes it's 60-40. You know, but it is what it is. Um... So that's probably why you never married from the get-go because you were too selfish yourself when you wanted it all, all, all. And hmm, you didn't really spend too much time raising Kayla either, even though you're saying that you didn't know about Kayla, but I'm sure you knew about her before she hit 12. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know if you're that uh stay-at-home father either it's like let me make all this money let me take care of you and show you a better side of life but leave me alone i still want to be somewhat seen as single even though i know i'm taken but i just don't want that burden of a family you know what i'm saying if you can get where i'm going with it okay but going back to the article it says um i don't really mind supporting you because i want you or i want your shit to blow that's with all my heart Tucker explained to his wife that although he supports his wife's dreams, he wishes that she would be more present with her family. Now, you know good and got darn well. If you the breadwinner out there, you got to make things happen because you don't want to stop living the lifestyle that you've acquired. Uh, and Todd is just not realizing that. He's just on a pity party. Now, if the shoes are slipped and he was on another level mm -hmm. higher than Candy, he'll tell her, well, who you think pay for this house? Who you think pay for the school's, pro the children's private tuition? Who do you think pays for the clothes and the shopping sprees, the unlimited expenses that I give you on your credit cards that I pay? You know, he, he, you know what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this. He's trying to flip the script nicely. But we know if it was turned on, if the tables were turned and he was the breadwinner, he, she would be at home complaining to him. When are you going to spend more time with us, the family? You know we're here. And then he's going to give her that throw-up ass excuse. Well, I'm trying to make it work. I'm trying to have a, 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 a us to live in a lack of luxury that you're used to. And, you know, it's going to always be that. So we always got to be mindful as women that, hey, when they have to take a subservient role and they 
have the role of being the house maiden or the house guy. They don't like it. You know what I'm saying? And plus, they don't like it because their boys, their guy friends are in their ears. And, and they're, you know, listening to them. And then that seed of jealousy, that satanic spirit overwhelms the whole situation. Then you start nitpicking, nitpicking at every little thing when it's more so you're just not happy. You, you're not happy for the person that's your partner. But anyway, that's just my viewpoint. But moving back to the article, it says um, the conversation ended with an apology and a hug. And then it just tells us when um, when it aired and stuff of that nature. But I do have a little clip from the previous episode that recently aired on this past Sunday. Let's see. Will it play? Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, come on. Oh, wait a minute. This thing is not acting right at all. Okay, let's see. If, let's try to play it. Come on, dumb thing. the end of it but I was trying to get it where it played the front the beginning of it oh uh, come on you also make a comment blah, oh blah, shoot I don't know what I'm doing guys I don't know what I'm doing what? then I don't went to the band pump we definitely don't want that one but it, what Kate, Candy was basically doing was she was crying like she normally always do and we don't want to hear that and she goes on to give an apology and she goes to say some crazy stuff about um, thank you for putting up with me and my life. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold, hold up. What are you talking about? Your life. It's our life. It's what we are all going through. But to see, that's how nonchalant she was saying it. Like she's in the whole marriage by herself. And the only way she can please him is try to give him job opportunities and this, that, and third. But it's not what he wants. And I, I just knew he wanted that trucking company because he was having it filmed on his um, Instagram account and everything. And I'm like, what? And he going to sit up there and say in his confessionals with Candy that uh, when they were taping the scene that he didn't want to be a trucker. He didn't want to start a business with uh, dealing with a trucking company. I'm like, what the hell did you go, go out there and plaster it on your social media if you wasn't going to drive the damn truck? So I, I don't understand. But let's see what it play now, guys. production and tv and film that's shit that i was doing before i haven't really done that shit. i didn't take jobs because jobs didn't pay me what i make now i was able to become a business entity that makes a lot of money everybody accepts a lot of money guy he's good he's the best he's this but i'm not f***ing happy me starting a trucking company i don't want to be a trucker when you wanted to produce a movie i was down with that that's not my fault that you did not decide to move forward with it yet. I'm not really stepping out there because I'm so worried about making sure that I stay this guy. You know, for me, I don't mind supporting you because I want your shit to blow. That's with all my heart. But within that, we need you. I, I love my kids, but shit, I want to spend time with you as well. I want to spend time with you too. Well, act like it. Act like it. 
And that's if you want to be here. If you, if you don't really want to. Of course I want to be here. And see, I would have told him, do you want to be him? That's just me. But just in conclusion, my whole thing is, you know, they both like it. They, you know, because it's, it's a simple trade-off. You either downsize, get your marriage on track, love on each other, this, that, and third. And just flow into life and your newfound life that you're on. But if you want to continue to be a part of this ratchet TV show where you are co-starring, then, you know, you more than likely uh, you're going to be looking at uh filing for divorce and you know him basically saying i don't want to be here anymore because it's not working out and then you're going to be crying and carrying on and trying to buy him some more and it's it, basically what he's telling you either choose me or you choose the life that you're involved in because it definitely don't surround around me because him saying that little stupid shit about uh act like act like you want to be him and all this stuff I'm like <laughs> Nigga, are you serious? Are you serious? So, yeah. I don't know about Todd. He's going to have to figure it out. He either going to want to see if he want to be there and continue to do the thing or he don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? And then he just tell Ken, look, I don't make enough money because I need to do what I need to do. And, you know, either accept me. But it's, it really ain't no point of being accepted because she don't care one hill of the beans. She want to continue to do what she want to do to make the money. And... You know, he's just going to have to find his way. Because, uh, like I said, she's going to love, love his dirty draws anyway. Because she loves the man. She loves her husband. And it's fitting. It's befitting. But when you take him or you took him out of the limelight, or he chose to come out because he wanted to be with you. Because I think it was a conflict of interest. Y'all both couldn't work for Bravo the way y'all were doing it, I'm thinking. Uh, so, I mean, it, it was just been a choice. You choose it for love or you choose it for money. And it seems like both of y'all took the money aspect thinking y'all could go between it and have a good relationship. But when one of the parties are envious of the other party, even though they say they love each other, you know, it's quite apparent that he really does envy uh, the life that Candy lives. And she's going to have to come and... Um, some type of understanding about that and do something about it or she's just going to be another statistic which is a divorcee or a divorcee uh, but it is what it is they'll get it together either they'll make it or they won't stop it So here I am again. But all I wanted to say was if they want to keep the family together. Because Ryder don't care one way or the other. You know what I'm saying? Todd ain't her real daddy. But with Blaze and, and Ace. You know it will be different if they did separate it. But it wouldn't be uh, what do you call it? The end of their world. They just have to learn to co-parent. And they have to do what they need to do. And of course Candace going to have to find a lot of more nannies. Because you know, Todd's going to probably give her a hard time about her still not being there for the kids and, you know, this, that, and the third. But that's just how a man's ego is. It's bruised right now. And until he can figure it out, you know, uh, he's going to be upset. And she shouldn't really pay him no mind if she ain't going to plan on leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because that's just where they at. Uh, that's how I see it is right now. They don't want to compromise for the kids. 
and for themselves in their marriage then they just saying okay fuck that I, I want the money you know what i'm saying and the money is the root of all evil depending on how you worship it or you use it and it could destroy everything that was good like having a family having kids loving on them kids and you know just make it do what it do but that's all I have for this video. It's kind of sad because I don't like to see any marriages break up. Not when it seems like there's true love there. And you do have a good chemistry between Todd and Candy. They seem like a good couple uh, to be together. And, you know, I don't say that about many couples. You know, Candy done got on my nerves several times. But, you know, Todd needs to step up and or he needs to tell his wife look i am the provider i want this i want that and i think it'd be better for us and he just had to convince candy or candy had to be like no nah, we're gonna do it my way and, and i'm gonna make sure this that, and that happens and I'm try to you know afford you some opportunities where you can get back to doing that just can't be with bravo i mean they both well damn candy should have enough connections to find him something where he can work and it just i mean it'd be seem like the cheat threw him a bone but at least he can be in the element that he thrives in and he can try to make a difference but it's still gonna you know <laughs> they're gonna need some onanis and stuff like that because it don't seem like they're driven to save their marriage it's like they're driven for that almighty dollar and they're driven on their careers which you know candy girl what you doing if he's a good man, you better listen to that man because that man going to walk out that door and leave you nothing but full of tears, okay? Tears, headaches, and a lot of pain for the heart. But, you know, when the mind get over it, the heart will mend. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about it, okay? And we'll dialogue some more. Other than that, peace and blessings. Get, take care of yourse yourselves until next time. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the videos. Good night, guys.